Inequality is one of the biggest issues of our time. According to many, it's one of the drivers of political turmoil. So we look at this question, has inequality really increased? We look at the UNU Wider World Income Inequality Database to answer this question, which is the most comprehensive database on income inequality worldwide. We need to know what kind of inequality we are looking at. We look at uh, absolute inequality and we look at relative inequality. We look at global inequality and we look at within country inequality. We find that since the 1970s, global inequality has been falling, relatively speaking. This is primarily because poor countries are catching up with rich countries, relatively speaking. Within countries, relative inequality has been increasing in North America, in Europe, and Sub-Saharan Africa. In Latin America, relative inequality has been falling. When it comes to within country inequality, the lesson is that policy matters. In Latin America, the decline in equality has been driven by social protection and modest increases in progressive tax. Some inequalities are well rooted in history, for example, discrimination against women or ethnic groups. We want to understand those problems. We've shown that since the end of apartheid, more than 20 years ago, there was very little improvement in the access of the black population to well-paid jobs. There was a little bit more improvement for women compared with men because more women were getting higher education. For many black women, they remain in the lowest paying jobs, more than any other segment of the population. The first lesson when it comes to inequality is that the context matters. The type of economic growth matters, the educational system matters, and government policy may need to step in to minimize the effects. To eliminate discrimination, we need a more proactive approach. Not only from the government, the entire society needs to be involved. Mm -hmm.